Hey, what's going on? SneakerTube.tv, YouTube, it's your man Air Jordan 14, back hitting you with another video. Uh, today, it's going to be a performance review of the, the Air Jordan 2010. And I know that the 2011 should be coming out next month, but you can find these at sales racks and out, you know, outlets across the way so uh, a lot of people will probably be picking them up uh, at a discounted price and getting a chance to take them out in the court so thought it'd be a good time to uh, do a review and the colorway that I did of course is the black and I guess charcoal or silver colorway here um, let me just get these laces out of the way let's just get right into it um of course, this particular colorway is mostly, uh, as you can see, the forefoot is a, excuse me, a new buck, uh, and then along the eyelets here on the outside, you've got a uh, suede right there, which says Jordan, and then um, so on the forefoot you've got these these guardrails, uh, a lot of a hard plastic. I don't know if it's TPU or what. Um, and then you've got them again right here, same new buck. Uh, you've got an elastic material here. And then, of course, you've got the side panel with the infamous hole. Now, as always, I usually start with the inner. Uh, the inner is actually very smooth. Um, there aren't any, any seams. I didn't have any problems um, from a comfort standpoint as far as seams rubbing or anything like that. So the inner fit very well. It's made of a a smooth, I don't want to say neoprene, but a very smooth material uh, that feels real good. So you shouldn't have any problems with rubbing or anything like that. Um, <clears throat> so good job on that. Now, <clears throat> I'm going to go a little different. Um, cushioning on the shoe was actually very, very good. It's got full length zoom memory serves me correctly and uh, which feels really good uh, even right out of the box it's just very 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 comfortable the zoom in does a great job of soaking up uh, impact um, you know just the cushioning was was a one all the way so a great job on that so um, even if you're a bigger guy the cushioning should be able to hold up uh, for you on that note um, Traction, as you can see, clear rubber outsole here. Um, actually, the traction on these was pretty good. I didn't mm, experience any any real slipping or anything like that on the shoe. Um, back so you can see it. Um, you know, it just did a good job on on uh, keeping me in place. You know, when making a cut or doing anything like that, um, I didn't find myself constantly having to to wipe the shoe off or anything like that. Once I got them on the court, I was just able to go ahead and play without having to worry about that. Um, so the cushioning was good. Um, ankle support uh, is pretty decent. Um, one of the things, the, the, one of the, really the, the only downside best that I have found is, is kind of in the support and fit area. I've noticed uh, with these, when I first put them on and, and, and uh, started playing, it seemed like I couldn't quite get a, a lockdown fit around the, the midsole, well, the midfoot area, excuse me, and the heel. And uh, I had to tie them tighter normal than I usually do in order to alleviate the problem in the midfoot, um, which, which went away. But I could never quite get uh, the lockdown fit at the heel um, while the the heel slip primarily went away um, it wasn't any real front to back or side to side movement um, it just seemed like I couldn't quite get the lockdown fit at the heel that I would have liked to have had it wasn't horrible but it just wasn't quite where I would have liked it to be um, if you can I don't know, hopefully it shows up, but let me turn it up so you can see it. 
Oh boy, I hope the light shows. But inside, on the inner here, you've got two uh, areas of padding here that would be around your, your ankle bone. And I'm supposed to pad it. And it should even help with fit. But for some reason, I don't know if it's because of that excess padding. But you can't quite uh, get it as locked down as you would have liked. And that was the main detractor um, on the shoe. Because even this shoe does have a, a wider forefoot than uh, I'm used to actually playing with. The fit of the forefoot was not a problem at all. Um, and it's actually it's actually quite good. It's actually kind of unique here how this how this works. It's kind of interesting. But if you can look at the upper here, it this is actually almost a separate forefoot underneath. As you can see, I've stuck my hand underneath here, uh, and there's a another there's like a mesh uh, material that surrounds your forefoot. And uh, I thought that was pretty unique and. I think because of that, even with the the width of the shoe, the forefoot, um, <clears throat> no, it's <that's> texting. <laughs> um, it still wasn't uh, an issue as far as fit. Uh, these rails here do a good job of holding and, and assisting and holding your foot on the footbed. So, like I said, it wasn't any movement um, around uh, from that standpoint. So, you know, all in all, um, the Air Jordan 2010 as a as a performance shoe, it is, it's it's fairly decent. There's a lot of, it does a lot of things well. Um, say cushioning, um, forefoot fit, traction, all those things are, are good. Uh, I would just say uh, try to tie them up as, as tight as you possibly can to alleviate uh, the looseness in the midfoot and at the heel. Um, and because if you wear ankle braces or, or you know, maybe concerned about that, I might say wear one, um, excuse me, with these shoes, but it's a, it's definitely a solid, uh, performer, um, if you can get past the, the much maligned window, uh, right there, it's actually, a, a fairly decent basketball shoe, um, so, like I said, you can probably pick it up, you know, at discount, uh, prices now so if you happen to catch it on sale uh, it can be definitely an able performer on the court for you so that's going to conclude this uh, sneaker review I'm going to close the lid on this one um, have some some other ones coming up so be you know stay tuned for that as always I appreciate everybody who's been watching uh, my videos um, both sneakertube.tv and YouTube and commenting and everything I appreciate that um, you know just continue to to support the videos and comment and subscribe and everything and I'll get back you know with, with any questions or anything like that um, as quick as I can so you know I appreciate it uh, wish everybody much peace and positivity and uh, I'll catch you all later YouTube sneaker tube I'm out